Back in 2008, 2009, we were having a tough time like many businesses, but we took time to think about where we want to be by 2015. And the Success Vision really maps out where we want to get to. It's motivational, it's meant to be aspirational, it demonstrates an intent for our people and our business. It gives you the opportunity to grow in the company and climb your way up the ladder. We've all got um, the same outcome and goal to focus on and it unites us all as a company. Providing us with a practical focus. The Success Vision really allows us, as a national business now, to actually buy into the targets that we've set ourselves. You know, we can work, work towards in terms of our systems, um, you know, the turnover we want to reach by 2015. Um, most companies have mission statements, which are very, very high level. The Vision takes that down to a, a more digestible, understandable, where are we trying to get to. As a business, we have a plan. We're looking to the future, we're planning for the future and the future security of the business. We know where we're going. We have the tools uh, given to us, an understanding of why and how we're going to get there. And for me, that's brilliant. It makes me feel sort of like the company knows where it's going, what it wants to achieve. When I come into work, I like the way that the, uh, the company feels, the way that uh, the, the people treat you. It means that I've got job security. Um, for the future, to pay off my mortgage. Security for the family, got, got bills not to pay, you know, and it's all going in the right direction. Pay my mortgage, keep me in the job for the future and pay my bills on time. It's a common goal for the workforce. It's not just sort of sitting on its laurels and just plodding along, it's, it is looking to the future. It means that they're looking out for the employees at every level, not just at the higher management level. It gives us the backup as a contract and the confidence uh, when working with our clients on the water. And the success vision, along with things like the business plan, is what you can go back to and it gives you a very clear focus to where we're trying to get to. If I could summarise that, I'd say it's, it's what we're about. And every employee has a part to play in the success vision. My view is what distinguishes from other companies is we are a company who offer service and quality. In simple terms, we deliver. For me, I, I do feel very skilled. Um, obviously, my background, I come from being on the tools and all the rest of it. I've been developed and I do feel value within the business. We pride ourselves in training people, developing people from within. The reputation of delivery, I think, is important. Our clients think of us differently from other companies. I think we are a family-owned business. I think we retain people for long periods of time and we develop our own people. I think Clancy Docker has got an excellent reputation. We are very strong in our brand. I've worked for Clancy's for five years now and my skills have just developed ever more since I've been there. I've been given a lot of opportunities with this business. And we certainly make and put a lot of effort into the people that work for the business. Clancy Docker has developed me personally, they've invested in me, they've put time into me. I feel like I can grow within my role as I'm always looking at new aspects of training and development such as the apprentice interviews, 2Ps, graduate programmes. Um, and since I've been with the company, which is only a year, I've done two external courses and on-the-go mentoring, which is on a regular basis. My father, Michael, uh, started the business in 1958. I came into the business straight from college, as, my, as Dermot, my brother, did, and, and indeed my sister Mary. Well, it's about um, my family, I'm second generation, going into the third and fourth. But apart from the Clancy family, it's all the families in the business. And, you know, we've worked in the business, it's grown, and a lot of people have grown with us. We want to, to be the best contractor, we want to adhere to health and safety, and be the best and sustainable business going forward. It's important to have the commitment of the family and the family members. Uh, by being involved in the business, they are demonstrating their intent. And when you do talk to the family members who are in the business, you get a very, very clear picture of what the business means to them. Loyalty more than anything. This office itself is like a family in its own right. I know the owners of the company personally and that means a lot to me. They take time to speak to me if I see them. And, and you get straight from the horse's mouth what it is we're trying to do as a business. It's the better way they, they actually listen to what 
what you need, what you want, and if they can't give you it straight away, then we'll build towards that. So you don't feel just a number if you're part of a team. Also, it's, it's not just about the Clancy family, it's, it, it's about all the families in the business. You feel more wanted, you feel needed, and you feel appreciated. You know, more members of a lot of families than there are Clancy's in this business, which I, I think says, that, you know, says a lot for you know, how, how we look after them and how, you know, how many people want to work for us. I probably don't imagine myself ever working anywhere else, and that is very much because it's a family business. I think, um, although we are a big business, um, I think we've retained that family culture. It means a lot to me personally working for a family business because I also have family working in the business. I have two sisters on different contracts. This is a well-run family business with a lot of other families that are within the business. It means we're not just a, um, a corporate entity without any identity. A lot of my family members are employed by the company. I think the family values are strong in the business and it just feels a good place to be. There's always a willingness within the company to help each other and assist to achieve the overall goal. I think the main beneficial point is you've got the family values within the company and you're not out of touch with the people at the higher level, you know, everyone knows the people at the head office. The ability to be able to get to decision makers fast and have decisions made quickly. The owners of the business, the family, um, actually make it a priority to ensure that they actually know the majority of our workforce. I'm incredibly proud, first and foremost. I think that my granddad started the business as he has, and my uncles and aunt have developed the business to where it is today. Like with Dad, like a role model, and like I wanted to like do something like what he does, and he said it was a good company to work for, and it's like successful, and it will give us um, good opportunities for the future. Kevin and Dermot seem to have a, a, an incredible knack of um, remembering people's names. And I think that makes people feel valued, that they are more than just a number. Um, I think it's a credit to the Clancy family and to the senior managers of the business. Working for a family business, I get the feeling that I get the arm round, like you're not on your own, you know, that's the feeling I get from the family. So, so we dad is right. I like to see that as uh, we deliver on our promises, uh, specifically um, in uh, uh, the water sector, but also growing in uh, the energy and rail sectors. On the, the water contract, it started in April, and then the power contract, it's all massive contracts in, in size and financial value, so ultimately if we get them right, then I, think, I don't think there's going to be any stopping us and we can, we can move further afield. If we grow this business and we widen our client base, uh, we can be less reliant on our nine or ten key clients, less uh, reliant on the regulatory cycles. We'll have a better spread of business. It, it just reduces the risk for the business. Obviously, for every business to be successful, the reality is we have to make money. We have to be able to generate profit. And in the current climate, that is incredibly challenging. There are opportunities around the country and around the industry for businesses to diversify into. We have lots of different skills in the business and we need to maximise those to their fullest. We actually see the long term future being the opportunity and that's where we actually look to make growth and diversification a strong point of the business. I think diversification for me is very important. We will always be a water based company but it's very important that we don't have all the eggs in that one basket and it means that we, we have other areas of business that we can grow and develop. Diversification I think is hugely important to Clancy Dockra as a company. The more that we can diversify within, within our own specialities and move into new fields, then we secure new business and we maintain um, jobs for everyone. And if you can get all of those things happening at one time, then you've got a successful business, you've got the foundation for growing a successful business. Clancy Docker, the brand, the, the image, everything about it creates a fantastic environment for people to grow. I do realise it's a sustainable business, um, it is a successful, secure business. And those things do impact on your daily life and routine, whether you realise it at the time or not. And again with success, everybody participates. It's good because within this business, because it is quite close-knit, they can see how good, right, how good you are working and they notice that and then you can progress through the company. We've got an excellent apprenticeship training programme 
we've got fantastic graduate um, and management development programs. Um, I think in 2011 we had over um, 6,000 training days. Clancy are definitely set in the right environment for me to grow um, by obviously different courses. I've recently done my ILM3 and my street works course and I'm pretty sure there'll be more courses to come. I very much feel part of the future of the company. Um, I feel valued by my senior managers and I'd like to be part of the future of Clancy Docker. Personally I think sustain sustainability is very important. To strike a balance between environmental sustainability and economic sustainability and obviously social sustainability, looking after all the staff and all involved with Clancy Docker. The company has clear guidelines of what it wants to achieve and that makes me feel very secure within my role. And I believe uh, we're known as a company for in investing in our people in training and skills etc. Which is where you know, we end up with the end result of a competent workforce. Without a sound financial base, no vision will ever be delivered. That's the reason why it is a critical part of our success vision. In order for ourselves to be able to grow, to develop our business, to develop our one of our key most valued assets, our people, we have to have profit. In terms of diversification, that's something we need to drive towards because the, the bigger the spread of skills and, and work within the umbrella of the group, you know, that I think the, you know, the more successful we can be in the long term. It's about security, it's about sustainability, it's about foundation, it's about creating opportunity for growth and investment in the business. Information management uh, in the modern world is key. We've clearly invested huge amounts in our systems and processes uh, and technology particularly over the last couple of years and I think the reality of that is that there's been a changing demand from our clients. I think technology has moved on a huge amount and I think the expectations that are placed on us by our clients are now hugely varied across our delivery of work. We've actually delivered a number of things that are hugely important and we set us in a very good sort of, put us in a very good place for the future. Therefore, our investments in IFS and Mobile Eye, for example, are absolutely critical to our success. Our systems, a uh, very key and very relevant uh, talking point at the moment, particularly with respect to IFS, ERP, in my opinion, absolutely crucial. Uh, it's about our speed and our ability to react. It's about our ability to react in a composite manner. Uh, business to business functionality is absolutely the phrase of the moment. I'm actually in encouraged by um, our new uh, system, IFS, um, probably because we've been there at the early stages um, and we've been able to um, develop it as we, as we go along. I think the systems, the, the fundamentals of it are excellent. Um, it allows us as Clancy Plant Hire to report as, um, on, on a performance basis on, and measure ourselves on how we are performing, um, which then will relate on to operations who then can go back to their client. And you know, it's, it's good, it's evidence that um, we operate a plant hire company, um, we are comparable to the market in cost wise and performance wise. Mobile Eye, IFS, are hugely important to where we want to get to in the future of our business. Doing more, faster, with less movement, less usage of fuel, etc., is hugely challenging, and technology plays a huge part in that. Achieving everything in the success vision will take this business from good to great, or great to outstanding. <laughs>